everyone welcome back to my channel so we're gonna do something a little bit different something I actually didn't plan on doing I planned on opening my advent calendars over on Instagram and shortly after Thanksgiving my grandmother died um, from COVID my mom and my dad got it my sister and her husband and amongst a slew of other things that have happened I have not been able to open my advent. I think I made it to day two. My boyfriend was in a five car pile up. My son who has a cyst in his brain was tackled by another child at school. So we were in children's for one night and one evening I should say. And it's just been so many things. So what I thought I would do because I'm just terribly behind. And honestly, I have never ever successfully done an advent calendar from day one to 24. I just, I never have. So the Nazanine Tea Thoughts calendar, I'm going to go ahead and open up on video. I thought it'd be a great way for um, anyone who's looking up this this calendar instead of going to like 24 different or not 24 there's 12 days in this calendar 12 different videos you can just find it all in this video and see what I got so day one I got um I'll try to insert a picture I don't know if I uploaded it on Instagram or not but I got a sparkling matcha drink and I really liked it and I found them on Amazon that was really good day two I got a wooden wreath that is awesome and you like hanging it up it's like an ornament and I have that up in my tea area so we're gonna go ahead and move on to day three so this is what day three looks like here it's super cute and first we go to our little book let's see Charcoal Roast. This is a roasted oolong. Some tasting notes include sweet, buttery, and a hint of smoke. You could try this bowl brewed or grandpa style, which is awesome. I love oolongs. Um, when I first got into Eastern Brewing Tea, and I, if you follow my videos, you know I've said this a billion times. I am just not, I'm not a Pooh Air fan. I just, to me, that tastes like lacquered wood and that's just not a flavor profile I like but I do love oolongs and I hate ripping this paper because she customizes the paper and it is beautiful but we got to get in there oh let's see what we got oh that's actually quite a bit Acacia, this is from Mountain Stream Teas, Acacia Charcoal Roast Oolong 10 Grams, and I like, um, Mayleaf always says that if you have quality tea, they will always give you the, um, the specifications on it, so we've got our region, the cultivar, they even put the roast and the method on there, production date, so that's awesome, so I can't wait to try this and look up this company, um, because I've never heard of them. So that's day three. Let me put, let me have a little trash bucket over here. All right, moving on to day four. This is what it looks like. Again, super cute little package. Some of this I'm going to um, put into my little tea journal. That's Brian's commentary in the background. Don't forget, we have his and her desk. So he's, you know rolling beside me here okay we have a really cute silver box I actually kept my green box that the wreath came in um these are really really nice little boxes it's Christmas time so I can always use a little box oh wait oof go to day four I found this matcha lip balm from a small shop as the weather is cooler lip balm helps keep your lips hydrated a nice way to add a little matcha to your skincare <laughs> Yes, y'all know I love matcha. So what is this? Who is this? This is from, uh, let me bring y'all in. May not focus. It's from Life of a Bell at Honey Bell Shop. This is Matcha Kiss, long lasting lip balm, green tea flavored. Only three main organic ingredients. And then the website is honey, honeybellshop.com. And it has all the ingredients on there. 
So this is actually made in California. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna... I'm sniffing it, if y'all can hear me. Let me see. Okay, I did try some on. Um, it's nice. It does kind of flake a little bit. I think the top layer... Had some like air bubbles or something, but it's okay. If you press it down, it fixes it. But um, it's nice and it's smooth and I will 100% use this for sure. Matter of fact, I've got to hide this from Hannah because I actually keep, let me ping all over here. I keep a whole bunch of lip balms over there and that girl will come in here and take them. And I actually, a lot of mine are latte drink um inspired one so that's actually perfect for me all right let's go to day five day five why are you not focusing there we go baltimore breakfast sharing a blend of indian black teas with you from white tea co i hope you enjoy this bold black tea try it plain use it to make a latte or tea infused hot cocoa all right this is day five in the Camellia Sinensis paper. Set that aside. So again, this is really, really fun. And I had intended on just having a little surprise every day. But this is just as fun to sit and open up some little gifts just for me. It sure has been a rough month or two around here. Okay. So this is actually a nice size pack of tea. This is 15 grams. It says at the bottom to get, you know, around 10 cups of tea. A hearty breakfast tea that is great alone stands up great with cream, sugar, or lemon. And there we go on the back. Our house blend of three Indian black tea. So that's cool. I will be checking them out as well. Okay, so let's move on to day six, Four Seasons Oolong. This tea gets its name because it's cultivated year-round. This is a lightly oxidated oolong that you might get vegetal, sweet, and fruity notes from. Yes, another oolong. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so this is day six right here. Right. Okay, another one from the Mountain Stream Tea. So I'm definitely going to check this company out, especially if I like these. But I do like that they have all that information on there. All right, so we'll move on to day seven. Not everyone has the same tea today. You will have different kind of raw pu'er tea balls. Check out the brewing card from Bitter Leaf Teas for some brewing guidelines. Oh, um, and also, this is day seven here, but there was a card included. If you guys watched the first impression video, and it says more infos for day seven and ten. Let's go ahead and peep what's in here. Hold on. Um, maybe first believe this is probably for day seven so let's go ahead and open it there this is such a cute little box isn't it this has been fun i know it it for me hasn't been the way i wanted it to but it's actually worked out pretty great it's about 2 a.m in the morning i think here Look at this cute little box. Oh, it just kind of unfolds. Ooh, look at this little guy. It's got like a little geisha on there. Come on. Camera is not wanting to focus very much today. I wonder if it'll tell me which one it is. Let's see. 
because it says not everyone has the same. Add tea to your brewing vessel, rinse. For Dragon Balls, we recommend a longer 30 second rinse. Okay. Um, it is an info card, I guess, for those who don't know how to brew Gong Fu. Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll just have to try it and see which one we get. So that is a raw poo air bowl. Again, I'm not a fan of that, but I'm open to trying it because I do believe if Nazanin picked it, it's going to be pretty good. So we'll set that little card aside. All right. We are on to day eight. Sticky notes. The holidays can be stressful time. You can use these sticky notes to organize your thoughts, write motivational notes, love notes, and more. Um, I talked about in my video about how she has all this beautiful stationery, so it's really cool that I'm getting some because I would love to use this like in my tea tasting journal. So let's see. She did such a really good job packaging all this. Oh, there's two sticky pads. So this one has, um, it's pink, light pink with two little cups on there. And then this one says chide. <laughs> That's cute. So I will definitely be using those. I'm glad we got those. All right. So what day are we on? Nine. All right. Let's go to day nine. All right, this tea ball is made of a bud heavy moonlight white tea with a larger leaf variety that is usually meant for raw puer. This tea ball combines chrysanthemum with the moonlight white. You can follow similar instructions as the last tea ball. Now, I am a huge fan of white tea, so this is going to be super cool to see what we got here. I'm actually pretty excited. I've learned I love oolong and definitely white tea. So this is the same as the red. I'm just going to unfold it there. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, it's so cute. And it says on there, moonlight white, snow, chrysanthemum chrysanthemum buds i'm probably out of all the teas gonna try this one first i'm most excited to try that so that's really awesome all right so let's move on to day 10 day 10 says pomegranate dish if you happen to be opening this on the 21st learn about shea bialda the persian winter solstice celebration i made these pomegranate dishes for it use it to hold small things or tea so i have no idea what that means i will definitely have to look that up so here is box 10 it's quite large and we've got that really pretty silver uh ribbon on there so we're going to try to save that because it is really really pretty there we go we'll just take that off Yeah, I don't know how she makes all this herself. I don't know how she gets this paper printed, but it's super freaking awesome. I'd be making, if I knew how, I'd be making all kinds of custom tea paper. That's just awesome. So we have another green box. These are great. And before I forget, before we open this, I should say, don't forget we have a card. Um... For day 10. Oh, this tells about the celebration. Oh, that's cool. So it tells a little bit about it. That's that's cool. All right. Uh, let's see how do I open it. Oh, it's very nicely packed. Oh, let's see what we got. Okay, so we have, she does make her own pottery. Like I said, she does her own teapot, tea, tea pets. I can't talk because it's so late at night. Um, so this is really cool. And 
she i believe she handmade this and it's a little pomegranate dish i like that it's glazed it's really really cute and i think it'd be cute to put you know your tea in to look at it before you brew it as well so we'll put our little tea balls on there so that's super cute okay so we have two more left we're gonna go over to day 11 it says three treasure i found we have cat drama happening in the background I found this tea and couldn't resist including it. It combines fooding white tea, tangerine peel, and rice stock. Brew it whole. It can take hot water and can provide many steeps. Ooh, another white tea. So here is what day 11 looks like. And it's like two packages combined. Again, we have that really pretty um, silver ribbon. We'll just take that off. We'll open this first one. Ooh, I've never seen a tea like this. This is very exciting. Oh, wow, look at that. It's actually got a tangerine peel wrapped around it. Now, it kind of reminds me of the, um, if you guys watch my Umi Tea haul, Umi Tea Sets haul, I ordered some Pu'er that came in little citrus tangerines, and I've also gotten some from Adagio. This one's different because those they stuff inside the tangerine, and this one looks like they took the peel and kind of wrapped it around this bundle. And that is quite a lot of tea, actually. So, I'm pretty excited to try that. I don't know if I take flash off if y'all can see it better. Probably not. But it's really, really cool looking. So let's see what's in this one. I'm pretty stoked to try that. I've never seen anything like that. Like not even at the Asian market. Oh, awesome. So it actually came with just two. That's really, really cool. And you can actually see the whole leaf in there. And it looks to be pretty quality. So I hope you guys can kind of see, see that on there. All right. So we are going to be opening up the last day. Show me, show me balls. Another white tea ball to try with a harvest date of 2017. Brew this gong fu or grandpa style. Show me is known for having a stronger flavor. You might enjoy this on a chilly day. I love Shomei, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. That's funny to you? Balls is funny to you? Shomei balls. Oh, <laughs> Brad's over here laughing. I mean, hey, anyway, so this is day 12. I just heard a wheezing and I looked over and it was him trying not to laugh on video. <laughs> I mean, I've kind of learned that if I'm filming and Brian's home, it is what it is at this point. Um, we are not some high class fancy family. We're just <laughs> who we are. So, all right. Another pretty little silver box. Hey, Brian, you know what? We should put every year for Christmas, um, we, one kid gets the bag of candy coal. We should totally put it in like this box. You know, like we've got two, so give the one kid candy coal and then put another lump in each box and stick it under the other two kids pillow. <laughs> we should do that. Okay. Wait, let me open that back up. Oh, okay. We actually get two. They're wedged in there. So this is what these look like. And I have to say, I am hands down super impressed that I got a lot of white tea and a lot of oolong. So this is what these look like. And they look awesome. Like, I love that. So I cannot wait to try all of these. This is a great amount of tea. It's really, really fun. Um, you know, I did open them on days the one and two, but it was also fun to open them all at one time as well. And I really can't wait for her next box. Um, 
I've seen where she does them for Valentine's and other occasions. Um, she had a Gong Fu one. Oh, I wish I would have been able to get it. Um, but anyway, I hope she does another box like that again. So, um, oh, and last thing. So, um, if you watch the box opening video, there was a keychain that came in this little bag. I'm going to put these tea balls in there. Um, and there was this black pouch. So let me show you guys what came in here. Um, oh, here's the keychain. I stuck it in there. So yeah, as a little extra, I got this Gawang keychain. I'm actually going to put that on my keys. And these are little twa, um, tea nest is what they're called. And if you guys ever watch me, um, on our, uh, Asian market haul, um, you'll see where I bought a big one of these, not this brand, but a big one and what those are. And you can go back and watch that video. So yeah, these were included as well. And, um, I believe these are Pu'er. I could, Pu'er. I could be wrong, but I believe that's what these are. So, Anyway, that's a look at everything I got. I will put her Instagram name down here um, and her website. You guys check her out. But I do believe that the best way to find out about upcoming boxes and shop restocks are her Instagram because she lets everyone on Instagram know when she does like a shop update and puts new products over there. Um, I believe she, by the time this goes up, she's fixing to do one or would have just done one. So go check that out. And remember, if you haven't liked and subscribed, do so. So you guys can watch all my videos. We do a little bit of everything around here. Nails, tea, vlogs, follow me around, shopping, cooking, eating, whatever it is I'm doing. And I will see everyone in the next video. You guys like the paper? You've made a mess on the floor. Butters? Butters is really liking this paper.